Hi guys, so we're back with a book haul. Mark's been collecting bargain books over the last <laughs> sort of two weeks. Yeah, um, with some of my Christmas money that I got, I looked to try and get as many books as possible to start the new year, and uh, most of these only cost a quid, including postage, weirdly. Um, so yeah, really happy about that. Yeah, no, they're really, really, it's really cool. So, um, so I've bought most of these, so Ellie doesn't know much about them as such, because... She hasn't really looked into them yet. So we've kind of separated the two piles into books that Ellie'd be interested in and books... I'll be honest. Books you found pretty and books that she didn't. Who doesn't choose books by the <laughs> Um So, yeah, uh, basically we'll go through them. We'll say something about them if we know what they're about and if not. And, yeah, just a normal haul video. So I'll start. Um, first of all, we have TJ Bass's The God Whale. Um, it's a sci-fi. It's quite an old book. Um, but yeah, I just thought it sounded kind of cool, and I could find it for cheap, so yeah. Is it Ben Aaron? Aaron Aronovich? Aronovich? I'm really sorry. <laughs> We're going to butcher your name. Aronovich, yes. Rivers of London. Which, from what I can glean quickly off the back, is about a detective constable who's also a trainee wizard. And it makes his life more complicated than he thought it would. It seems like it's another one of those magical, there's a magic land beyond our eyes kind of books, but a bit more adult, grown up and gritty and grimy. Um, next I picked up, I don't know what order these are in, but they're Alan K. Baker's The Martian Ambassador and The Feaster from the Stars. These are steampunky um, and that was basically what sold me on them. They look cool and they sound cool, so yeah. Cherry Priest Bone Shaker. This is one of the ones I picked for my to be read in January. As you can see, it's still in the packet. I haven't started it. But <laughs> I do. I do read quite quickly. So hopefully, when I finished my Ron Palmer book, this one will be next. Again, this one's quite steampunky. Um, about, <laughs> about a drill engine. Um, Very steampunky. And I love steampunk. So. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, next, we got Lev Grossman's The Magicians. It looks really cool. It sounded cool. I can't remember the synopsis, but it looked really cool. This one's really pretty. <laughs> John Connolly, The Gates. I should look that first. Um, yeah, it, it's about the gates of hell, from what Mark was saying. It's just really, really cool. The inside is cool. So pretty. I think it's written kind of like for kids, but not. But it that just me fine. it just looked really lovely, and it's a really nice addition. Um, next, I picked up four George Mann books. Um, he's not an author I've read before. But I've always been attracted to um, the covers of his books. I picked these all up for a quid each, I think. Um, so I'm happy about that. So there's these three that are part of the Newbury and Hobbs investigation series. So we have the Affinity Bridge. Gorgeous covers on these. The Osiris Ritual. And the Immorality Engine. So, yeah... Really love the covers on these books. Uh, and then this is a standalone story, but it's got the same kind of cover, and it's Ghosts of Manhattan, which, again, looks really good. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting them, okay. probably in February. We've got Robert Rankin, Witches of Chiswick. He says, did you know that Queen Victoria had a sexual relationship with Dr. Watson, partner of the real-life detective Sherlock Holmes, or the Elephant Man was a product of an ET human hybridiz hybridisation programme? So it sounds quite good. So you see why I picked those books up. <laughs> I'll do another one because Mark's only got one left. It's another Rob Robert Rankin. And we we'll have to turn it around to read it. It's the Japanese Devil Fish Girl and Other Unnatural Attractions, which sounds awesome to me. But it's about aliens. Yeah, basically I picked up a load of Robert Rankin books because I found the hardcovers cheap and I've always wanted to read him. Um, I've never read any of his books, but uh, the one that Third Rock to him first was... Um, Robert Rankin's Necrophenia. Um, always wanted to read him. Always loved uh, how this book's looked. I'm big into my Bizarro, um, Bizarro kind of fiction. So it sounds right up my alley. It says, It is a matter of historical record that during the latter part of World War II, England's top secret Ministry of Serendipity enlisted the services of arch-magician Alistair Crowley to create a homunculus. Why? Basically. Um... There's, his books just seem to be full of crazy stuff. I mean, it's just, um, who really topped the bill at Woodstock and who really murdered Alvis? There's a lost city of gold, millions of zombies. Yeah, um, 
they just sound crazy books. So. He's like quite a cool dude. He's always got funny pictures of himself on the back. That one's got one as well. And I've just realised this one's got one on the inside. <laughs> yeah, so they look good. And considering they're giant hard books, like 400 page hard books for like a quid, I'm happy about that. This one is the one I'm most excited Finally. about. Finally. Kelly Link, Pretty Monsters. I don't know if this is for children or not. Or young adults. Um, it looks like it might be because it's so pretty. And it says, Boiling up a unique brew of fantasy, fairy tale, horror and pretty mischief. Pretty Monsters contains a Scrabble-loving grandma and under babysitter, helpful wizards, possibly carnivorous sofas, dueling librarians, aliens, a boy named Onion, and an unexpected campfire guest. So this is the one I want to read first next month. That's our book call, guys. Um, I know we kind of rushed through them. Um... But we don't know much about them. They're just basically books we picked up that were on our TV read on Goodreads. Um, just want to say cheers for watching. It will be an awesome with the watches and comments and stuff. Um, make sure you check the links in the description down below to join us on all the different types of social media. Um, check out our Goodreads, which is under my name, so it's Mark Ryan. Um, and yeah, let us know if you've read any of these books or you've been interested in any of them. If you've read them, please let us know how they are and if there's anyone that we need to read now and we need to add to uh, read first in February then yeah let us know so um, cheers for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video see you next time bye, bye.